Hi there everyone, welcome to the advanced edit for working with montage style commercial footage in what I'm calling the client sofa. These are sessions where you get to follow along, take notes and see how what we have been learning applies in practice. Don't forget, in your lesson downloads you will find the unique proxy media to follow along with. One thing to remember here when watching these is an edit can take a variety of time to complete some longer than others. For viewing pleasure, this lesson is a cut down of the original steps and time taken. Don't worry, you'll still get to see all of the key moments within that process. We've just removed some of the more mundane and repetitive sections. Some of these edits took days, if not weeks to complete, and we would all go a little stir crazy should we have to sit through that. So I'm going to go off script here to take you through this edit. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you on the other side. Let's get to it. Okay, here we are in Premiere Pro. And we are doing a lesson on working with montage style commercial footage. And this project is a beautiful spec ad for Yves Saint Laurent, as we have covered in the Login Ingest, directed by a good friend of mine, Jake. And he put this together for part of a showreel and I think a pitch for some other work. And we've been lucky enough to use it in our training. Done our Login Ingest, very exciting. And we're on to the edit. So first up, the creative overview, my favorite part. So normally this would start with reviewing the storyboard if there was one. Now for a commercial project, there would normally be a storyboard. In this case, cause it was more of a spec ad, there was probably a shot list or some ideas that the director wanted to capture on the day that maybe had some reference photos, etc. But on a full scale commercial, there'd normally be a very accurate storyboard. And we would have used that in our login ingest to, I guess, reverse engineer so that our login ingested sequence matched what our storyboards were, you know, like shot one would be shot one, shot two would be shot two. Similar to our narrative story content when we had the script and we had scene numbers and we had shot numbers on the slate, different way of achieving a similar result, which all comes down to organization. So I would have had a chat with Jake after we got this footage and had a look through it. I'd be looking for any references or moods that he was going for. Obviously the footage has, you know, a very cinematic Cinderella warmth to it, the whole missing shoe and him finding it and looking to return it to her. So I'd be looking for, you know, do you have any references of like how fast or slow this is cut? Is there some non-linear editing in terms of are we going from the girl to the guy, maybe back to him arriving and then back to her getting ready and then maybe he's already at the party. Like, are we trying to create any sort of interesting characteristics with the edit is probably the easiest way to say it. And then any notables from the director, like don't use this or we filmed this on the day but we didn't quite like it, see how it goes in the edit and just explore that with the director for a couple of minutes, half an hour, whatever it happens to be. Sometimes I'll even have the director come in after the login ingest and we can just go through the footage, just a quick scrub through it, check off some shots, have a quick chat through each of the scenes. There might be some things that will be jogged in the memory, which can be helpful when looking through the footage. Then you're essentially set to start the edit. And the music is probably another big one, which we'll touch on in a second, that the director would probably have a guide track or a track that can be used in the edit. A lot of the time, unless you've got a big budget, obviously commercial style tracks would be very expensive to license. And you can check that out. We have a lesson on licensing music. I'll put a link below or somewhere on the screen in the comments. And you can check out the legalities and how we license music and whatnot. But yeah, commercial tracks tend to be ka-ching, big money spend because you've got to pay the artists and the labels and distribution and all of their IP and it's a whole thing. We would normally probably have a reference which might be a big track and then we'll try and match that with some stock footage or maybe they've got a budget for a composer and they can come on and do what we call a sound alike where they'll reference the track, try to get it as close as possible but they always have to walk a fine line between not making the exact same track and still embodying the things that the director and the editor liked about the track. So it's always a fine line. 
Music wise for this edit when it comes to choosing music I had a quick chat with Jake uh, on the original side of this and we were looking for something interesting something kind of contemporary with some vocals in there because this ad just ends with a logo it doesn't have a voiceover through it alternatively that direction could change you know you could have a director that's like oh no I want to go acoustic only version of this song or instrument only version of this song and I'd love to have a VO that maybe tells a little story. You never know exactly which way it's going to pan out, but at the moment, the way we're currently embarking on this is without a voiceover. Once we get into the editing and pulling some shots together, I'll take you through the couple of tracks that I have selected that I feel fit the brief and that I know Jake also likes or the director also likes. And I'll play through some of those and talk through my thought pattern in which ones I'm going to use and which ones I'm going to avoid and for what reasons. Okay, without further ado, let's get into the edit. Okay, so we want to open our edits folder because we're going to be working within that. If you have this folder structure, feel free to follow along. If you're using your own folder structure, you should make a folder titled edits and inside of there you can have the offline folder. The offline is old school as I've shared before, which is essentially the storytelling stage of the edit. And then once the picture lock has been confirmed, we then move into the for online stage, which is the color, the sound mix, any titles and final finesses. So we'll be working in the offline sequence. Let's double click that. There is some templated stuff already in here and we don't need it for this. So I'm gonna delete most of it except this bit of black because we'll use that in a second. Come over here and I'm gonna type right Rough one, or we could go edit one, either or works. Sometimes we go rough, revision, and final, just so you can track that as you're kind of making different stages of your edit. A lot of the time I'll try to duplicate my edit and work from a new timeline titled two, three, four, and five. That way I've kept the hierarchy of my significant changes in direction or ideas, and we can always go back up that can be helpful. Edit one, and I'm gonna call it YSL. There we go, very easy. Changes up here. We can probably close down some of these other windows for the moment. And I'm going to move this black up to a minute 30. Old school reasoning for this, back in the day when we used to print to tape, they would run a minute 30 of black on that tape first, before any active media or your edit was exported or, or rendered out onto that tape or that medium. And that was because in case there was any scratches or hair or just damage to the tape, you don't want to be exporting your edit out over that because it's obviously not going to look good. So that is the reason why. And our first frame of active vision or picture will start just after that minute 30 mark. We're going to be making a 30 second edit today. So I'm going to move along to two minutes which is 30 seconds in duration. And I'm gonna copy our black and hit paste. And now what we've done is made what I'm calling our goalposts, which means we're looking to fill this time in here. Anything outside of this is just our workspace. So if someone was to come back into this timeline at a later date, even myself, I'd know exactly which part is meant to be exported and was the edit versus stuff that I was just working on. If you followed on a few of my tutorials already, you will have seen that I can be a little bit messy when editing and it kind of is all everywhere. And then it sort of comes together uh, at the end in between those goalposts. Goalpost is not really like an industry term. It's something that I've, I guess, invented, but I find it just helps, A, for me to see where I'm up to in my edit. You know, I might have filled shots halfway and then I know I'm about halfway. And also for the original intention of the idea, which is to define the edit, should myself or someone else jump into here and need to export out what is relevant. I think in this instance, I'm actually gonna start with the music track before I even bring any vision in. And a lot of the time when I'm working with montage style clips with a voiceover, or even if it's just montage style, just with like a music track and no voiceover, maybe the music track has lyrics, similar to this one that we'll look at. I'll cut kind of a little audio bed to begin with, and I'll find that that sort of gives my pitches some purpose. You can go about this either way, that's no right or wrong, but when it comes down to this montage style editing, a lot of the time I'll start with the music. So here's my music tracks that I have gathered with artlist.io, my favorite supplier. Okay, so we have a couple of tracks here. Let's have a quick listen and see what we like. If I knew a moment could feel so right, could slow down time like this. On it, baby, show. 
So this was one of my favourite tracks, actually, and I think it's the one we're going to edit to. I'm vibing with that track. Uh, let's have a listen to some of the other ones. Too many days in the darkness Without a glimpse of the light Running tired and broken and scared But I swear I'll never give up the fight I see you broken Okay, it's a little bit more dancey. It's okay, I don't know if it's the exact right tone, but it's nice. Let's listen to the next one. Got a good vibe. Again, okay track. Probably not the one I would go with. Let's have a listen to this one. This would probably be my number two track at the moment. I like the, you know, the interesting feel of the piano and the simplicity of it. So that's kind of cool. Here's the last one. That's pretty cool too. It's definitely quirky. It would make for a very different edit. And I think we're going more elegant rather than super quirky. So I'm going to go with the first song. So let's build our audio edit out there. I'm going to drag my song in. Uh, just drag down my clip track width so I can see the waveforms. Let's build out 30 seconds of this track that we like. So let's have a listen to the start. Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Everything I needed so I'm also looking for some shifts in tone and we're going to have to use different parts of the song to achieve that. I think in the edit it'll be nice to have something calm, something more intense and emotional for when I guess he's trying to follow to give her shoe back or the chase is on and then we'll have some sort of calm reprise for the product shot. So that's kind of what I'm thinking in my mind as I'm looking through these waveforms. So we do have something soft to begin with. Everything I needed well, obviously, the lyrics, we probably have to put a little cut point here, I think. So let's have a listen. So let's put a fade in, Apple T, Control T, I think, for those PC users. Okay. So I'm just going to take this bit, I think, here and make that kind of our in heightened moment. Enlightened moment? Heightened moment? The oomph. So we'll take this bit and I think I'll try and drop this in here. Baby, shut this. Baby, Alright, now what I'm going to do is grab an ending to the song and we'll see if we can have a beginning, middle and an end that works. Alrighty, let's just move the rest of the song there. Let's have a listen. Okay. So it sounds like she's saying make and make here. You make me so... Bold. It sounds like she's saying bored, but she is saying bold because I can see it's the song title. Okay, let's try and move those together. Somewhere in here, let's put, let's join these together and see where we get to. Okay. 
This last bit is a little bit slower in tempo to this bit, so we're just going to have to nudge it forward and try an earlier cut. I think that works. Let's have a listen to the whole track. Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Baby, surely All that you are Cause tonight I'll be yours If you want it You make me so bold It's pretty cool, I like it. I mean, this little bit here, I think, could probably have a little bit more work done to it. I think maybe with some sound effects in here could help that blend. I'm pretty happy with that. It's probably a song that would better suit a 45 second edit, but in terms of the storytelling stage, this would be a great place to start. And with some final finessing, we could make this sound perfect. And I'm really happy with that. That's like 95% for me. And it's perfect to start cutting to. I don't want to hold us back. Let's get some pictures in there. We've got our goalposts, we've got our music, got our 30 seconds. Let's go find some pictures and start getting our edit together. So I can see that we've kind of got a beginning, middle and an end and I'm actually just going to color code these clips just for reference, green, middle, end for red. So this way we can kind of benchmark some little moments that we want to achieve. So I know that the car will be at the start of the green. I know that this will be at the start, probably when they run up the staircase. And I know here will be toward the end once the door slams and we go to our product shot. All right, heading over to our rushes select. So let's just grab this in a linear order and get some of our nice clips going on here. I'm going to maybe just open up some quick pancake editing just so we can drag and drop some clips in nice and fast. Let's up our window sizes here just to give ourselves a bit of space. If you're not familiar with the pancake editing technique that I've been through in some of the login ingests, it's just having two timelines above and below one another just so we can move media from here down into here nice and easily without having to click always between lots of different sequences. So you're more than welcome to do the copy and paste style or you can set up this little structure and kind of drag media between timelines, which is cool. So let's have a look in here. What do we prefer? I mean, the clouds in this, this kind of looks more mansion-y. So I'm gonna grab this one and let's go to the next one. So this is coming through the gate. I don't know if we're gonna use all of these moments, but we'll drag them in as if we're going to, just so we've got them in our tool belt. There we go. Okay, there's a couple of different moments in here. Let's find the ones that we like. Okay, there's some car arriving. I'm just gonna cut that little bit out. It's a bit cheeky of me, but I'm gonna do it. And door popping. I like this one. This one's actually probably even better. Let's grab that. Uh, yep, yeah, door, door. Not a fan of these two, so I'm gonna leave those for the moment. Of course, if the director wanted them, we could go back and get them. We got some car exiting by the looks of it. Let's grab these last two takes, we'll drop them in, just they're slightly different camera angles. And move on to the next one, different angle getting out. I mean, it's a very awkward car to get out of. Okay, I'll, I'll grab that last, I'm probably not gonna use that angle because it's a bit odd. Not sure about this one either, but we'll grab that. Car logo, not today, foot stepping out of car probably not overly necessary. I mean, his shoes, again, we could put it in if the director wanted it, but that doesn't say anything dramatically to me about him. So let's close house exterior. Let's open party interior. Let's find, oh, maybe we'll cut this in little chunks because rather than we'll have a whole timeline of good footage, let's, let's work on this little bit here. So I'm going to close down. There we go. I'm going to close down our timeline panels. Here is... Just got to open up my edit and I'll close this one down just to keep it nice and toity. There we go. So there's the footage I've pulled out. So let's just drag this across because this is roughly the start. Let's have a look at some of these nice moments. And I'm just going through and just going to very quickly put something together. I don't want any of that. 
I mean, the time of day difference is probably a little noticeable, but maybe we could even start with something mysterious like this little bit of the fence. Yeah, we've got that. I don't think we need any more of that. It's cool. Let's move this over. I feel like that's probably over milking the car driving up. It's not a BMW ad, but it is kind of cool. So let's see if it works. Get rid of the other fat there. Just grab our little bit. Love. I do like this shot. I'd prefer this shot over this shot if we had to pick. So let's ditch those. Um, that's very similar. I think... Yeah, this is a nice moment for the door opening. Again, we might not use all these shots. I think this could... Yeah. Let's see if we can do it with these shots here and not have to overtell the story. Never knew. So I'm just slipping some shots around here, seeing our gate entrance. Never. Might even do a little time ramp on our opening gate, just in that kick of the song could be cool. No, it's not really working. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I mean, I'm not overly vibing this gate really anymore, so I'm just going to be pretty vicious and just ditch it. We can probably come in on something like this shot. Now I'm probably going to cut back and forward between our girl getting ready and this stuff. I will just pick our best kind of four or five shots, but I am in my brain being like, okay, I'm going to do one or two shots of him arriving, some of her getting ready, some of him getting out of the car, some of her coming down the stairs, you know? So we're going to cut back and forward between those two moments, I think. I'm just going to park that over there for the moment. I like the shot, but I don't know if it's going to work in there. Could slow down time. Could slow down time. Like see. And just slipping this shot around to find the nice moment of his expression here. Don't obviously want a weird face. It's kind of a nice little moment. That little shoulder shrug. Maybe just after it. A little bit more. Oh, sorry, we're at the end. I've got to shorten that up. I mean, maybe it is a bit of mystery as well. We don't know who's driving, who's driving, who's driving. So maybe we don't have this and we just see him when he first kind of bursts through the door. Could be kind of cool. Maybe I'll put this one here instead. Never knew a moment cause I think I prefer that. Never knew a moment could yeah. I think this shot says more to me than this one underneath it, because you kind of get that from there. So I think I'll leave both here. This is actually an interesting moment here, and I will do this a lot in commercial style editing, where I will stack up different versions of shots. So I might like the pace of the edit, but say for here, I'm not sure if this is the best shot or the one underneath it is the best shot. So I'll leave both there in my edit, and that way I can communicate that to the director or the producer when I show them and say, hey, here's one version, but I had a couple of alternative shots that I liked. What do you think and then we can sort of collaborate and make a choice. Let's move on. Never knew a moment could feel so right. 
Just needs a few more frames on the first shot. Never knew a moment could... Yeah, I think that's better. And there's a little time warp on here. I don't know why I'm pushing this time warp. Can't really see it, but that's kind of cool. A little one at the front too. It's a bit too much. Cut a bit off. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I'll probably put a little one on here. Yeah, there are those moments in the song where we could cut on, but there's not really a beat, so to speak. I'd probably even add a few little ambient weird sound effects, you know, like a or like, I don't even know what the sound would be, but a rustling or a, uh, some metal -y stuff, or just some kind of weird effects that float with this tone that might help assist an edit point here. A new moment. We'll leave it like that for the time being. Could slow down time, like I think I am going to do... Could slow down time. I like the door, it's sort of mysterious. And we'll see if we can leave his reveal to the end. So let's ditch that. So I know that seems a bit odd. We <laughs> ended up with three shots out of ten, but that's okay. Now we've got a couple of different shots of her getting ready. So I'm just going to go through and grab a couple of these. I'll just copy and paste these ones in. This is supplying the perfume, which I think will come slightly later in the edit. So I'm going to leave that for the moment. So we'll just jump back to our edit here and let's try and get a couple of these mixed in. Might go really close to begin with, I think. Could slow down could slow down time like tea. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow could feel so right. Could slow down time like That's kinda of cool, just creating this little story between the two of them. I'm not sure on this shot still. Just checking the shot underneath it again. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Still undecided, but this is the whole reason, right? Maybe now I am liking this shot. <laughs> Undecisive. Can't decide. Just putting some little speed ramps in and out just to get a feel for it. I like the door opening there. It's still very mysterious on our guy, which is cool. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time. Never knew a moment. I'm gonna try and maybe drag this shot out a bit. Not sure. Let's have a look. A new moment could feel so. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Maybe I like that better. Just some quick shots of the car Men could feel so coming into her. Men could feel so Again, this is just all you know, experimenting and seeing what feels good. It's impossible to know exactly how it's going to pan out to the T. So you'll just see. I'm just trying certain things and seeing what looks good, seeing what doesn't. And if I make a mistake, then undo. Men could feel so. Never knew a moment could feel so right. 
Yeah, I think I will have some sort of sound effect over this cut point and this one that will help with it. Like a... Men could feel so right. Yeah. Men could feel so right. Wait. Could slow... Could slow down time. Could slow down time. Could feel so right. Never knew a moment could feel so right. I think I'm gonna cut three in there, I think. Men could feel so right. Could feel so right. Could slow down. Could slow down. Knew a moment. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Men could feel so men could feel so men could feel so right. A moment could men could feel so right. Men could feel so right. Could feel so right. Could slow down. Could could slow down time. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time. Yeah, just just playing around with all this here. It's just getting a feel for what just looks good and feels good and is moving with the music and again there's no formula for this so what you're watching is the raw process of building an edit out um, in a commercial environment never knew a moment could feel so right could slow down time cool i like that maybe we can go him and then back to her Oh, nice shot in there. Hair falls nice. find his shot of him walking in that's her getting ready um, that's cool so let's go back to our man man into his house let's find our most favorite shot of this one I feel like it is gonna be toward the end this sort of shot so let's grab this one and jump back to our edit Paste. Let's see if we can work this in. On time, like this. Baby, Could slow down time, like 
So let's have a quick look at the perfume application because we should probably show Depends we could show one here and then create the idea Which is a little producty that that is why he's attracted to it Or we can hold off to the very end just for a product shot And then it's kind of like a reveal at the end that the reason he was so attracted to her was obviously because of the perfume I might leave the perfume out for the moment. Let's just go have a look I'm kind of struggling with this one a little bit. It's a hard nut to crack this one Never knew a moment could feel so right Maybe it's not even that second car shot. Maybe I'm trying to complicate it too much. Let me just go over that and have a look. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could so Again, I, they've gone to a lot of effort to shoot all these car shots and they are beautiful, but I feel like the simplicity of just kind of like who's arriving, you don't know, there's a girl waiting, something's happening, seeing more of the arrival, definitely felt a lot better instantly just watching that. It. And I'm just going to adjust these edits now in here just to sit with that. So I might just hold on to this one of her a little bit longer. And maybe just on that. So she's putting it in her left ear and then her right ear. So we just need to find another moment of her either doing something completely different and just for some reason don't like that continuity. <laughs> Um, she can still be mucking around with her ear somewhere in there with that little light. think we need to overcook this scene here like something really nice about the slowness of that intro in terms of just sticking to those key shots kind of got mystery arrival who, who knows who it is some sort of interested character some sort of getting ready then we've got some more mystery of the arrival we know it's someone kind of important and mysterious maybe one other shot in here but i kind of like this moment here because then i'm thinking of revealing her here coming down the staircase again we don't have to cut you know a perfect linear story it's more of a an emotional piece so we can kind of jump around a bit it doesn't have to be chapter one to ten in the right order so let's get woman coming down the staircase let's have a look at a few of these find the nicer moments in here probably gonna say one of these last ones let's just grab that copy and we'll just paste this v2 to paste it on v2 unselect v1 there we go we'll grab that have a look at this one there's some jewels coming down the staircase yeah i don't know if we'll use that but we'll put it to the side anyway there we go and then we've got her mingling stuff which we'll come back to in a second okay so let's grab this and then there's the man and woman shot as well with the wide shot here which we might cut to yeah the second one here is pretty good so we'll see how we go let's try and put these couple of shots in Make 
cut and trim the fat off that. Let's have a look what else we got down coming down the staircase. Okay, that's kind of a nice moment. Let's have a look at the wide shot. So, um, I don't know, maybe we go wide shot first. Let's have a look. No, it's definitely a reveal shot, I think. We could go the jewels. Maybe in here and come back to the wide shot. Let's see where we get to with that. Oh yeah, it's, I don't know, it's kind of nice. Let's have a look. Never knew a moment could feel so right. I think we need to hang on to that close up a bit longer. Just hitting R for our rolling edit tool and shift that edit point. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time like this. Baby and just coming to this a bit later. S for slip. Okay, so you can tell they're kind of looking at each other. Let's see if we can get our man's reaction in here. So this is her point of view. So let's grab that because I think that is important to show their exchange in the looks. So put a lid, maybe one of these in here. See what else we got. Ditch the rest of that. We'll monitor this shot. Then we've got various of him mingling, which we'll put with those two shortly. We won't overburn the amount. That's kind of nice too, that little moment there. Slightly better framing. Oh, I'm going to grab this bit, I think. All right, see if we can make this work. Maybe he... No, too far, just tweaking this shot. Uh, maybe we need to add a little more onto the end of this. So we see maybe her even her eyes close. And not as long on him, I don't think. Trippy. Okay, let's just have a watch from the start, see how we're going. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time like this. Baby sure. Okay, it's cool, it's cool. I'm thinking of changing the order and putting this shot like this. Could slow down time like this. Yeah, let's just let this shot start maybe a little sooner and hang on for a little bit longer. Slow down time like Might do one of our little jumpy, rampy things, which we can always tidy up later, but it's just to get the vibe. Kind of cool, maybe on here as well. 
I think the better, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Digging that. It definitely establishes their connection, I think. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time. I'm going to ditch that ramp on the car door. Not liking that in so much. Let's do that. Here we go. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down. And I think her hand, her hand dropping down here, I'm not too fast with, so I might just slightly move that shot around. Could slow Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time like this. Yeah. Da, da, da. <laughs> little tweaks here and there. Might ditch this ramp. Keep that one though. I like that. Could and maybe get more of the door opening. Could slow down time. Could slow down time like this. I don't know. Maybe I'll ditch this ramp now. I'm in a ditch ramp mood. I don't know what's going on? Could slow down time like this. Baby I think we need to see her look up. Probably took a little too much off that. And come out, maybe a little, slip that a little bit more forward. Okay, let's have a look at this. Fine tuning, fine tuning. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time. Still not sold on this door shot. Maybe it is a different angle on the car here now. Let's just quickly go back, see what else we did have here when that car pulls up. Maybe it is from there. Let's try this one. Uh, just paste it back on V1. Turn V2 off here. Could slow down time. Yes, I think this is better. Could slow down time. I like the the hand and the hand too. That's kind of a nice coincidence. So let's just play with this shot and see if we can Could slow down get that in a nice time. Digging that, move it a little bit forward. Just slipping it, just so we straight into that. The camera has a little move on it, so I want to make sure it's moving as we come into the shot. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time like it is is Baby Shirley Maybe do a little ramp here. Let's try it. Might be bad, who knows? Not that fast. <laughs> Too fast the ramp. Too fast of the ramp. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Feels alright. Let's have another look. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time. I don't know. I need more on this door shot. I think. But his hand sort of stops. I don't know. Let's see if we got another take in here. Do they do it again? No. Sorry. I know I'm being very pedantic, but this is what it is all about. What else have we got in here? Let's 
I mean, that's kind of nice with his watch. Let's have a quick look at that moment. Clicking back to our edit sequence. Let's paste this in. Let's move it up there. And we'll just drop it in here. Could slow down time. Yeah, maybe that is better. Could slow down time. And I'll just scrub it back. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time. Yeah, definitely loving that shot. It's one of those things where you just kind of know when you feel it, but you also know when it's just not right. Like it's not right until it's right, which is a weird thing to say, but you just have to keep persevering until when you watch it, it has that feel to it. And maybe that's a learned feeling as in you get better at finding what that is. But yeah, I definitely like that compared to the other options that we've been playing with. So let's have a look at the whole piece we're up to. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down to little bit longer on her and we'll have to just slip it back a bit just because her hand drops never knew a moment could feel so right could slow down time like this Baby, and that's feeling good let's just ah oh, she looks up that's good he notices her. Let's take a few frames off that. I'm a little worried that maybe this isn't the best ending for the song. We might have to stretch this out just because we've got our little chase moment, some mingling. But yeah, let's see where we get to. Let's just tidy this up and get this into one nice line. There we go. And I don't think I'm going to use this shot, like it, for budget reasons or whatever it was, you know, this probably should have some more people in there and perhaps some more glittery, depthy stuff happening. So I don't think there's a need to use this shot. Obviously, if the director persisted or did say we needed to use this, we would look at integrating it. For the moment, in my initial story of this, I'm going to leave it out. Okay, let's ditch that. So we want to go grab now some mingling, I think think of both man and woman so let's just tidy up our sequences here so this is our wide shot which we're leaving for the moment there's a moment where he sort of goes to sort of chase her i think he whispers something to her i'm not sure if we'll use this maybe something in here is kind of nice but i don't know it sort of gives it away a bit so this was our login ingest of the whole chase scene so i'm just going to grab this whole chunk at the back paste it into our edit and we'll, we'll do some vicious deleting in here for stuff we don't need. So let's go have a look at what we've got. We've got them running. We're going to need to put mingling in as well, guys. Sorry, I jumped ahead a bit there. And I don't, I mean, again, this shot, it's, it's a fine line between what's happening here. Like the intention is, you know, the chase, he's kind of whispered in her ear and she's running upstairs and it's supposed to be very kind of sexy and intriguing and interesting, but not really flattered by this sort of wide shot here. It's, I don't, I'm not even, I'm going to try and avoid it. I'm just going to delete it. We can obviously always go back. And we want their little moments together to be sort of like, you know, lusty. So I'm just trying to find little moments like that, that we do choose here. Let's grab these bits. It's kind of like a, an ingest, a log and ingest of the log and ingest. Grab this little bit, could be nice. Oh yep, this is the shoe pickup. Let's just go to the last take. I think they were, uh, we'll grab that whole last take, I think. Got a mid shot of this. Yep, we'll grab that whole last take of this. This is the second staircase, which I was confused of in the Login Ingest. <laughs> I was like, this is one long staircase, but it's the second section of the staircase. Let's grab that shot. Um, this is his reaction. There's quite a few takes in here. Let's grab the last one of that. And this is when he doesn't make the door. It's kind of cool. Nice little bit of performance there. It's kind of cool too. We can probably jump cut some of this stuff. And then we've got a door close. There we go. So let's ditch the other stuff there and close the gap here on this content and move this over. And I'll go grab our mingling stuff. I did jump the gun. What's in textures? 
Yeah, I'm still confused by this. I don't think any of that fits. <laughs> I'm going to leave those out for the moment. Um, let's go man mingles. There we go. Let's go in here. I'm going to bring this into our edit timeline. Let's paste it on V2. And we'll just do a quick selection out of this. So it's probably more this stuff. Straight to the bar, I think, is nice. It's got some really nice depth to it. A little lens bocky flares and people, and it looks full. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of these looks here. Yeah, maybe that little, um, as he tucks away is kind of cool. And then we'll grab some of her. I think we can ditch this stuff here. Let's go have a look at the woman mingling. Um, what else have we got? I don't think any of this is relevant. This is them across the bar from each other. I think I'm gonna go one of these two here. The other extras here are a little too big and distracting uh, in terms of their performance. Like it's just too over the top and it's taking away from the look that we're trying to see here. But these ones with the cheers is sort of nice and also there where she's more of the focus. So I'm gonna keep those two, I'm gonna copy those into our timeline. And let's see what we can cut out of these. So we've got, da -da -da -da, he looks. Let's go to maybe the cheers first, like, Life has gone to do like one hug or something in here it just feels a little jump cutty going from him there to back here there was some other scenes that we pulled out of this edit it was a little bit too raunchy i think for this training it was a beautiful scene it had our hero female there in some lingerie with the product which was lovely which was supposed to kind of be filtered throughout this edit but i think it was better and safer to not have that in there for this so we're gonna have to make this work just a bit more structurally without that sort of overlay content, I guess, of that story, the undertone of that story. Might find one sort of hug of her, something nice in here, maybe with the other guy, sort of good. Let's have a look. And then we can cut to him at the bar and then back to her. So let's grab that one. That might just help bridge us in there. So it's him. Just seeing what else was in this
vibing this yet I think I do prefer that for her look I mean, in the original edit, we had a different track, the extra scene, which I've said we're not using in this instance. I think it was around 60 seconds, the extra edit. I'm tempted to kind of go in a slightly different direction with this and just have a couple of these last shots sort of stitched together of like staircase, shoe, door, and then end for our logo. And then product shot probably with a logo over it. Maybe to those like little piano notes, I might slightly adjust the music. I'm not sure, we'll get into it. It's gonna feel slightly different than the original, but it's kind of nice like I think with a different music track it takes a different tone and each time you approach an edit it's going to be slightly different than it was the first time you did it yeah I'm just going to keep going but yeah thinking out loud thinking out loud like I think I might just do her shoes then Stepping out of the light, lens flare is nice. And then him picking up the shoe. It's a hard one to end. And then something like that. And then one of these two shots in here. All right, let's see what we can craft with these tools. Cool, just seeing that on that last um, note. You don't really know what's going to happen. It's a little more mysterious. I'm not too sure. This this ending doesn't quite work without the other scene, so I'm feeling like I might just get rid of that and maybe even rid of this, and that can kind of be one of our last shots before we cut to the product. So... Maybe this is nicer of her heels running up. Let's have a look at that. Maybe this shot as well. I think we can ditch the rest of this. So let's check if this works better for her heels running up the stairs. see some of these other parts of the shots if they feel good uh, no I think we can cut straight to that
I mean, I'm probably going to product. I'm feeling producty, feeling good about it. All right, let's grab our product and see what we can get out of this. Let's grab that last one there and let's plonk this at the end. Yves Saint Laurent. It's cool. And there'll probably be a little bit of a voiceover there, you know, like a kind of whisper or a logo sting. Yves Saint Laurent. If only it could be my voice. Okay, we're still a little over time, and when it comes to commercial stuff, normally it is very strict on the time. Like, it's 15, it's 30, it's 45, or it's 60. So I do like to set the challenge to abide by those rules. So we'll have a look in here, and then we'll probably have to trim some shots somewhere and get this into that 30-second zone. All right, let's have a look from the start. Never knew a moment could feel so right. Could slow down time like this Baby, surely Cool, I like that. I'd probably have a little bit of Atmos sound effects maybe at the back end, you know, city sounds or some, I don't know, something to kind of fill out that soundscape. But I'm really liking the track. I like the simplicity of the ending and kind of moving through, even though there was a lot of coverage on that shoe chase, I've kind of pick some just really nice moments. And I feel like we can kind of just shorten this pack shot up to be the right length. <laughs> Add a little bit more there. Cool. And then a logo can obviously, you know, go right in the middle, which we could put on for this storytelling offline stage. If we were showing a client, we could place one where it would be, but I reckon it'd probably go like bang in the middle, you know, a nice fancy text. Let's add a quick to brand ad, obviously. So it's just doesn't necessarily have to have a call to action. It's for brand awareness. Let's find a font that's very close to you, Celeron. What is it? It's kind of like a tally font, Myriad Pro. Yeah, maybe. Does it have a light version of it? Nope, okay. Moving on. Oh, this one, yeah, it's kind of similar. And I think it's italic, yeah. Okay. So again, this is just, just placeholder. Might be something that we put in there if we didn't have the logo from the client. It just helps us all sort of, obviously we've got our little empire watermark there, but that's okay. So yeah, again, just as a placeholder. Yeah, it doesn't have to be too long. I'm just gonna get rid of that because I'm not overly fancy about having it in there for the time being, but let's just give this a little look. In and out points, it's 30 seconds, bang on. Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Baby, surely you I think I might put a little time warp in her step On that little kind of snare click Speaking to me for some reason Let's have a look at that interesting little trims here and there just as I'm feeling it Now the last thing I could try is just with the music keeping this last and maybe dragging this out.
Just playing with some audio levels here. Now, I don't know if that's any better. Let's have a look at the second half of it. Either or, I sort of, I think that maybe is a little nicer. Again, some Atmos sound to kind of fill out the mix will be really nice when we get to that stage. But yeah, I think I'm liking this. It's got a good feel. I'm gonna have another look from the start. Make sure I'm in the right zone. Here we go. Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Baby, surely Yeah, cool. I like it. It's a different twist to the original edit and direction, but it's interesting. You establish the relationship between him and her, their love interest, that there's a connection. They obviously go to escape together. And then, you know, he finds this shoe and he's, he looks sort of lost or what next, that he's drawn to something. And then we we're kind of coming back to what it was all about originally, which was the perfume that she's wearing. So, final touches, just before we would sort of export this off to show someone a version, I'm just going to remove our time code. So, highlighting our footage, right clicking, and untick these, but let's just leave time code tick, so that'll get rid of the time code. We could, if we wanted to, go and zoom this footage up, but I think I'm actually gonna do a cheeky uh, cinemascope feel on this. So, in order to do that, I'm just gonna go to my graphics, timeline placeholders, and grab our black video. Now, this is a very quick and dirty way to do this, and there is a, a lesson on this in the extras about working with sort of making footage feel more cinematic, but a quick and easy way is to put some black video over the whole clip, select it, go to your effects controls, click down here in opacity, open up opacity, and you want to select our mask. And let's very carefully drag our points out of our mask. I mean, you don't, if you accidentally click and move it, just hit undo because you want to keep it as perfect rectangularly as possible and holding shift to select different points of the mask. If we right click and turn on our margins, we want to kind of just bring this up to around just beneath this inner line here and same on the bottom. So click and shift and then drag as a team. If you hold shift, it does sort of snap it into place. So I'm holding shift and same there, just sort of on the inside of that line. And then let's come back here and all we need to do is hit invert and then take off the feather. And now what you'll notice is it looks like if I toggle this on and off, we've got our nice cinema bars. So. Just a nice little extra add-on, especially for this clip before I would export that off to show you know, a client or show the director for a review. So let's have one last look. Never knew a moment could feel so right Could slow down time like this Baby, surely Okay, super happy with that. I'm gonna make a couple more tweaks, I think, and let's keep moving and grooving. Thanks for watching this tutorial on working with montage style commercial footage. I'm sure that was a lot to take in. I hope it was helpful. Don't be afraid to watch it a few times, hit pause, follow along, then hit play again when you're ready. If you have any questions about anything we've touched on here, please feel free to comment below and I'll make sure to get back to you. See you in the next lesson.